keep going. A lot of y'all literally fall off the bandwagon whole time is because you don't believe in yourself, man. A lot of people want to start something and you never finish it, man. Understand that, bro. Get your finish line head ass on. You need to start and finish. Don't just start something whole time. You Hey man, you know who it is, man. I hope you guys are look my food back get when a video for me, new subscribe about food for me, old subscribe about food for me, like the video for me, watch all the way through. You gonna learn something a fat cool time. But look, man, today we're gonna talk about what I'm saying. This is advice to anybody starting a YouTube channel and small YouTubers. I'm gonna give y'all some advice with my mother whole time. But look, before I get into that, you already know what I say, right? Like the video, like the video, that's a fan, I'm saying, subscribe now if you ain't subscribed yet, man. Turn the notification button to get updated when I upload a new video, that's a fan, I'm saying, leave that like, that's a fact, I'm saying. Leave that like, yeah, I'm about to put you on sauce with my mother, no ragu, but like, yo, bro, I'm about to put you on mad sauce right now. So you better leave that like, that's a fact. And ladies, y'all know I'm pretty and sexy, so come on now, for me, leave the like, that's a fact, you know what I'm saying? So leave a like, you know what I'm saying? Leave a comment in the comment section down below how you feel about the video. And do the biggest thing out of all those, bro. Subscribe, bro. Join the LBR game, money. Yo, bro, it's the game. Wait, understand that? Join the game, bro. It's a fat cold time. But look, my males and my females, when I say off the rip, y'all already nobody going off the rip. Some advice I would give y'all lasses, bro, who's trying to start YouTube channels or you actually already have a YouTube channel and you a small YouTube, you probably got like 300 subscribers, 200 subscribers, 50 subscribers, maybe 500 from your whole time, maybe a thousand, you know what I mean? Who knows? What I would tell you is this, my males and my females, listen. Keep going. A lot of y'all literally fall off the bandwagon whole time is because you don't believe in yourself, man. A lot of people want to start something and you never finish it, man. Understand that, bro. Get your finish line head ass on. You need to start and finish. Don't just start something whole time. You thinking, oh, yeah, I'm going to just start YouTube for the money. Bro, a lot of y'all asses who in there starting YouTube for the money start to fall off, bro, after like three months, two weeks, a day or two because y'all don't get a million views within your first video. Understand. It takes for constant effort, constant focus, constant determination, constant re uh, re innovation. You have to re, re innovate yourself on a daily basis, my males and my females, with this YouTube stuff, bro. You can't keep doing the same type of content and thinking that it's gonna get you to that next level, or you make the same video five different times and you're gonna get a million views. No, you have to sit there, bro. And recreate yourself multiple different times. Because you first off might start doing reaction videos, right? But then you might figure out you don't want to do reaction videos anymore. So now you hop over to goddamn vlogs. Now you don't want to do vlogs anymore. Now you hop over to goddamn do gaming content. Now you don't want to do gaming content. You see what I'm saying? So there's so many different avenues on YouTube that you can actually go down. So my males and my females, this is why I come and tell y'all lasses, bro. Yo, I'm not saying you have to pick a niche, but pick something that you feel dedicated, that you know that you will want to do, regardless of the money. F the money. What am I mother the whole time, bro? Y'all always worried about the money. This is the majority of people that's hopping on YouTube. Y'all worried about the money. Y'all worried about the bag behind it. I mean, get your Mr. Krabs head ass on. Get your greedy ass on. You worried about the money so damn much. But when the money don't come in the first three months, what's, what you gonna do now? You gonna fall off? You gonna be at the baby? Like, come on, gang. Understand, bro. You need to lock in and focus up. Because a lot of y'all asses don't really want to lock in and focus up. Because this is not really your passion. But I know a lot of, some of y'all asses are very passionate about YouTube. You're very passionate about your channel. You really want to get to that next level. But I'm trying to tell you first. Literally, bro, you have to be consistent, man. Become consistent with the grind, bro. I know it's hard. I know we got our own lives outside of YouTube. You got maybe have a job or some y'all go to college and go to school and all this whole time. Get your high school musical head ass on. You probably go to high school or something like that whole time, gangster. But understand, you if you really want to do this thing, you have to make time for it. Literally. Prioritize, block off, and organize your life around YouTube, man. Make time for it. Treat it like it's a nine to five. I'm not saying lose the love in it, like you know how you don't like uh, working at your job, but you have to understand. You have to treat YouTube like a job. So that means you have to be what showing up every single day, be consistent, recording content, thinking of new ideas, thinking of ways to better your content, editing your vids. You might not even want to edit your vids, but just always thinking about making new content and how you could better support. You know what I'm saying? And give free value to your subscribers, man. Because this is who you do it for. Yeah, you do it for yourself. But in the end, you do it for your subscribers. So you got to think about, okay, what else can I put out for my subscribers going to help and benefit them lives? Even if it's something funny. Even if it's something that's informative. Things of this type of nature, my males and my females. Because this will literally push your content to that next level. So understand, the first thing you got to do is be consistent, man. 
definitely be consistent. The second thing is look at your titles, man. I know a lot of the time we think that we could just title the video anything is going to get views. No, bro. You only have 500 subscribers. You only got 1,500 subscribers. That's where I'm at right now. I got like 1,500 or something like that. I'm not no big ass YouTuber. I'm not Corey Kenshin. Shout out to Corey Kenshin. You feel me the whole time? I'm not Mr. Beast with my mother, but one day I'm going to get up there, though, because I'm big up with y'all. Pretty up sex, you know what I'm saying? The the greatest. And when I get to the top, man, I ain't going to lie. When I get to the top of Mount Everest, it's over for you. It's over, bro. It's over for all y'all asses because LBR taking over. Nobody, you feel me, gangster could even knock me off my throne. For me, what am my mother? I'm like King of Thrones or something. For me, Game of Thrones, get my stupid ass on. I'm like King Neptune, you feel me? I'm at the top, gang. Nobody gonna feel me? Come on now. But look, <laughs> what I'm telling you is this, bro. Literally, you gotta come up with great titles, man. You feel me, the whole time. Get some good titles on your video. I'm not saying you got to cap in your title because a lot of the time, a lot of YouTubers will come out here and tell you I get your information talking about some, you know what I mean, lie and fake facade in the title. Because by you doing that, if it's a, it's a fake title, for example, if you say, oh, I got robbed in Jamaica or something like that, it's a vlog, and you didn't get robbed in Jamaica, people are going to not want to watch your content because now you just sat here and capped your ass off in a damn title. So now they don't believe nothing you say. So anytime you put out a title that's mad, you know what I mean, like crazy looking or that catch somebody's eye, now they think that you're lying, bro. Whole time. Get your lie detector test head ass on. Now you think that you're lying the whole time, bro. So understand, you rather just don't cap in the title, but just let me spice it up a little bit. Put a little bit of sa a sasone on it, you feel me? A little bit of adobo on it. Don't go too crazy, but make it basically be what actually kind of happened in the video, you feel me, whole time. Because people on YouTube love to see uh, exciting titles, man. It catches their eye the whole time. Gangsta, it's like eye candy. It's like when you see that fine ass girl walking past that big ass booty, you feel me, jacuzzi booty ass, you feel me? You like, damn, she found the sale, right? That's exactly how people go on YouTube and see the titles, man. And especially after the title, you gotta have a busting thumbnail, you feel me, whole time. This is something I'm working on. I gotta get better at, you know what I'm saying, improving my thumbnails, you feel me? Because the thumbnails will make people even more interested. They're like, oh, hold on. This man, I'll be all jumping off an airplane. What the hell? Get his stupid ass on. Get his Navy SEALs mouth ass back. Get his Army man head ass on. He jumping off an airplane and all that whole time, gangster. Feel me? And now, in the, in, the, uh, in the thumbnail, if it looks mad interesting, if it looks, you know what I'm saying, high quality, you know what I'm saying? Like, you took time and you took effort and you put time and effort and energy into this thumbnail, people are going to be more prone to click it because he will love to see with their eyes. You feel me? Understand this. And I know YouTube, a lot of the times, you know what I'm saying, you might think you put a lot of effort into a video. You edited a video for three hours. You went crazy. You was up all night. I mean, get your narcoleptic head ass on. You was up all night. You ain't getting no sleep. Get your insomnia nose ass back. You ain't getting no sleep. You feel me? Whole time. You was in there grinding, editing, doing everything, right? And you still had to go to work tomorrow. Or you had to go take a test tomorrow at your school, right? And guess what? The video get 30 views, man. It get 20 views. It get five views. You feel me? We all been there. I've been there multiple times. For me, understand this though. Realize my males and my females. You have a small channel right now. So your video is not going to get that much traction. But you might get a video that gets a lot of traction within the first day, first two days, first week. Who knows, man? So just keep being, that's what I said at the beginning, just keep being consistent because you got to understand, YouTube works in like ebbs and flows. So your video in the first month might not get a lot of views, but you look back at that video six months from now, it might have almost 10K views, 20K views. And you're like, what the hell going on? It's because YouTube have a certain algorithm that picks up different videos for it at certain times that people want, uh, might want to watch. So you can't sit there and think, my video about sneakers is going to get a million views in the first day. It might get a million views a year from now. Who knows? Because what if that sneaker comes back and it's like a big thing on social media or, you know what I mean, whatever the video topic or idea was about, you feel me? So don't feel upset that your video don't get that many views your first, you know what I mean, the first time you post or whatever like that. That's why you want to just keep being consistent, keep building your community, keep building, you know what I mean, up your content. And that's why I always keep preaching the main biggest thing. Be consistent. If you, it's seven days in a week, right? You work eight hours, you go to school eight hours, my mother's my females. You should at least, at least post at least five videos a week. I don't give a goddamn what's going on in life unless your content is literally like some vlog style type content like the, what some of, a lot of the females do that be like mad intricate, mad different edits and cuts and stuff like that. If you're doing content like that, then I would say minimum two, three videos a week for me the whole time. I know that takes a lot of editing and stuff like that. But if you post the content like mine's, 
for you posting different type of content that's more easier, free flowing, that's not a lot of edits and jump cuts and things like this whole time, bro, you should at least be posting five times a week minimum. Because that's the only way you're going to get yourself into that algorithm. And that's the only way that your fan base or people that support you will actually start to see your content get popped up on their goddamn, uh, what's that word? The subscription page. You feel me? Whole time. Because it's how YouTube works, man. It works by the people who actually post a lot and people who are viewing their content. So the more that you post, you give yourself more of an opportunity to be seen by other individuals out here in society. So then at that point, you start to build up your fan base, you start to build up, you know what I mean, the support system behind you. And now, before you used to post a video within the first hour, it get eight views, but now you get 20 views the first hour. You see what I'm saying? Now your video, the first day of the video, only get 30 views. Now your video gets 60 views the first day. You see what I'm saying? So now you're building up that fan base and understanding these people are going to actually support you and on top of that the biggest thing my brothers and my females that i got to the i should have said this in the beginning is be yourself bro don't copy nobody else don't come on here trying to act like nobody else don't try to act like somebody that you not be your damn self gang. don't be a no copycat you feel me whole time it's a stolen identity head ass on you want to be a copycat of somebody else's life so damn bad bro understand be yourself man this is why everybody gonna act with you if you be your damn self. Don't be in here impersonating other people, man, whole time. Gangster, because that's not cool. It's not authentic. Nobody messes with that. You don't get mad hate comments because everybody gonna be like, yo, bro, you trying to act like this guy or that guy. But a lot of people gonna say that you act like somebody else on YouTube just because, you know what I'm saying, y'all make kind of similar content. But don't take, don't worry about that. If you being yourself, you know you being your authentic self, don't worry about that. You know what I mean? Understand that, man. So look, man, this was some advice to a lot of y'all small YouTubers out there, you know what I'm saying? That I could give y'all last. I'm gonna start making a lot of these. I'm gonna make a part two to this. Uh, so I'm trying to turn this into a series whole time for me, gangsta. Cause I'm, I'm still a small YouTube channel, but I'm gonna blow up eventually. You know what I mean, I'm big up y'all. I'm pretty, I'm sexy. You know what I'm saying? Go with the grades. We're with the legend of the TV. Y'all know the vibes. So listen, man. Take this advice, man. Apply it to y'all's channel, man. Whole time. And a lot of y'all last gonna get to that next. Love it. That's a fact. So look, man. Do these things, man. You gonna be good. You gonna be safe, man. Just watch some who. Big up y'all, but let me know what I'm saying. Like the video, but that's a fan I'm saying. Subscribe now if you ain't subscribed, man. Tell me if you get updated and upload a new video. That's a fan I'm saying. Follow me on Instagram at LBRDez, LBRDEZ. Follow my other Instagram at LBRDez. YouTube for me, both in the description box and the comments down below. I need the video. That's a fan I'm saying. Hit me up on there. Need advice, need video ideas, and my DMs in the comments below. I need, uh, need the video. That's a fan I'm saying. Follow me on that TikTok, man. That's just a fan I'm saying. Follow me on that TikTok, man. That's just a fan I'm saying. Follow me on TikTok. I'm almost at 10K. It's a fact, you know what I'm saying? You guys are the way through. I'm messing with some fat for me. Join the LBR gang. Watch this the gangway. But look, man, I'm making a very good doing that. But until then, man, you're a number to say, right? Man, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. I just need some WAP right now. I ain't gonna lie. You feel me? I'm feeling exhausted. I need some WAP in my life right now. So after the video, you know what I'm about to go do. I'm about to dive in the WAP. I'm about to give me some WAP, man. You feel me? Whole time. No goo WAP. But look, man, I'm out of this bit. Oh, bro.